guys. I just went for a big ride out to Eastbourne, which is where I'm at, sitting like a retard. Giving myself one of those days, I finished class early. Giving myself one of those days where you can just like chill the fuck out, have a moment to yourself. Just appreciate what you've got, what's around you. <laughs> I know all my videos as of late are sounding really hippie, but it's just the small things, you know? I wanted to rant about um, swearing. You know, people who think that it's a, uh, a reflection of one's maturity and intelligence. I don't think because I choose to use the word fuck means I'm an idiot. And it doesn't mean that I just, I don't know the word to fill the space. I just, I love the emphasis and I like the word. I mean, sure, there's different situations. If I choose to use the word purposely to harm someone, so the word's filled with ill intent, then yeah, it's not cool. You know, there's a lot of derogatory words out there that are really offensive. The word fuck to me, though, I don't really use it directly at anyone. I just use it. I like it. I'm not an idiot, but I want to say fuck. I don't know. Uh, maybe I'm just too blase on swear words, eh? Also, ugh, that's another thing, is a lot of people are saying it's a reflection of people's upbringing. My parents fucking raised me awesomely. They raised me in a way that I respect people. Through that respect, I think I gain respect in return. I had, my parents are amazing. <laughs> the way I choose to talk is no reflection on my parents. Uh, if you don't mind, I'd rather you keep those comments to yourself, because I think saying that stuff towards me, you're being offensive. Me saying fucking cunt, not directed at you, is not being offensive. But you offending my family, my maturity, and my intelligence, well, you mean offense. So basically, you're a bit of a hypocrite. Um, also, I don't know if you guys have noticed, Facebook has gone on this massive killing of motor vloggers. So I'll link you guys to my Facebook page in this video. There's probably already a link. Um, but I find it a lot harder to interact with you guys via a page. I like to see what you guys have going on as well, not just what I've got going on. So the majority of us motor vloggers have moved on to Google Plus, so I'm going to add a link to that in this video in the description. I know the accounts are already linked up and you can probably find it somehow, but I'll just put it there so it's easier for you guys. Add me on that and that would be way better. Hey, but guys, look, when I open this up, this is my tank bag. <laughs> what does that look like? Not a stingray. Well, it does. But I'm thinking more of like, don't you think it looks like a fanny pad? Like a panty pad? What do you call that? A liner? <laughs> there's a lot of, um... At the moment, there's a lot of sad videos going around at, um, on YouTube with some motor vloggers and, you know, some really, really sad things are happening to some guys. Um, I just, I know it's, I know I've left comments and everything, but I just, I just want you guys to know, like, Leadpin, Adrian Nickelodeon, <laughs> Yummy R6, I just want you guys to know that, um, we're all sending so much love your way, we're really sorry about the circumstances, yeah, life's not fair, you know, But we're such a tight community, us motor vloggers, and seeing the reaction you guys get for your videos, it's just, there's so much love going around. And I'm, like, again with the hippie stuff, but I'm feeling so blessed to be a part of this community. I really am. I never knew this was gonna come out of it. I just thought, you know, I can talk some shit on the motorbike. Be a bit of a dork. I didn't expect to make such good friends and, you know, yeah, hopefully I get to meet the majority of you guys one day. I'm sorry if I'm breathing loudly, it's the whole in the helmet thing. Wow, that's cool. You're a cool rock. Should we try and skim some, should we, should we try and skim some rocks? Stay. With gloves on. Oh god, I'm not very good at this thing. I bet you everyone's looking at me in my fucking helmet playing on the beach. But YOLO. Oh, 
I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this with gloves on. Fucking a writer's life. Throwing rocks like a pro. Oh, cute, it's shaped like a hat. You get it. Okay. Fuck, this is gonna be embarrassing. You guys probably won't even see it. Go away, wave. I got one skip out of that. <laughs> I skipped that one, but it's because it bounced off the ground. Another thing that you guys probably don't really care, but I wanted to talk about it because it means a lot to me. My girlfriend and I have hit a year and six months today. Don't judge me, but it's my longest relationship. Yeah, so happy 18 month anniversary, Nicole. Um, I'm taking her out on a date night tonight. We're gonna go see some lights. I should record that for you guys. Um, Wellington's got like a little, like a light festival and you can walk around down an alleyway and all the way down the waterfront. And they've just got random lights set up and it's all free. I'm gonna record that for you guys tonight. That would be awesome. You guys can be a part of my date night because you guys are family. Not that I take families on date nights, <laughs> I don't know. Oh God, I can't concentrate because I need to piss so hard. Music stopped, so I thought that was the toilet telling me to get out.